So, Soren, over to you. Thank you, Alroy. Uh, am I audible? Uh, a little soft, though. Okay. Is this better? Uh, I don't know. Is it only me or is it soft? Should I go softer? No, you're sounding I'm a little faint. I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. Okay. So is it, this it, fine? I guess go oh. on. If there is a problem, then yeah. uh, we'll have comments. Yeah, we comments. can hear you. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Yeah. So welcome all. Um, thank you, Learners Conclave, Asif and Elroy for allowing me into this wonderful story. Uh, so before uh, we begin, uh, you know, I just want you to have a look at a short video. Uh, I'm just going to share the screen. Um, oops. Uh, um, yeah. Okay. Is this visible? It's going to start. Yes, visible. Okay, awesome. So, uh, uh, so before we begin, I just want you to have a look at a short video that uh, I will share now. And at the end of it, what I want you to do is uh, write down what is it that you uh, see and feel is happening, uh, uh, you know, in the movie, right? Uh, what is it about? And once you've done that, you can share it in the chat. Okay. So I, I'll just uh, start the video. Hmm. Okay, can you all see the video? Yes. Okay, awesome. Just have a look at it. Um, and at the end of it, uh, you know, just put down in the chat, what is it that you see? What do you feel is happening? Okay, so, um, so what I want you all to do is uh, just put down in the chat, uh, what is it that uh, you uh, saw, uh, what you felt uh, happened in the video. And if you, instead of putting it in the chat, if you feel uh, more comfortable sharing it, you can unmute yourself and share it as well. But uh, chat would be uh, ideal. However, it's your call. Just quickly uh, put down what is it that you saw, felt. Rare is a bully, wants place for himself. Okay. What else? <laughs> Red is asking to be at home. It's a COVID situation. Okay. Naughty Indians. Okay. Bra Box is your brain. Awesome. Okay. Red is dominating. Okay. What, what do you think, uh, if you were to think about it from, you know, uh, a personality point of view, what, think, what do you think, uh, you know, the three of them in terms of personalities, what personality do you think they are? Which triangle will get pink? Okay. All right. Clash. Okay. My red, my way or the highway. Blue is a rebel. Okay. Clashing personalities. Okay, superb. 
so uh, awesome uh, anyway so uh, the the just to give you a background about this this is a video animation video that was made in 1944 by two psychologists uh, fritz heider and marianne simiel right and basically uh, uh, the the uh, what they were trying to see is you know the ability for humans to uh, add meaning to anything that they experience right so uh, the point is that you know at the end of the day these are two triangles and one circle you know moving around and look at the um, you know you know look at the symbolisms that came in look at the meaning making that happened right so we are hardwired for stories uh you know uh, like small children for instance understand this happens and then that happens even before they can talk so uh, you know we you know uh, my my point of uh, sharing this was to tell you that uh, even if we do not for some reason believe that uh, you know stories are useful in the professional uh, uh, environment for whatever reason that's very unlikely today considering that everyone is talking business storytelling but my point is that we are hardwired for stories and uh, you know at the end of the day facts uh, wrapped in uh, emotions uh, is what stories is right okay awesome so uh, uh, you know some interesting uh, uh, chats came in um right so now let's just uh, okay so so this is what we tell stories for right to teach to inspire to learn to share to connect to make things stick right and what we uh, you know uh, are going to do now is basically figure out how to craft business stories that do not suck right so the entire intent of this next uh, you know one hour is to try and see how can we create business stories which means content in any form uh, that does not suck uh because uh, you know there's an amazing article by neil patel uh, on uh, content and uh while he has so many points one of the most Im important things that he mentions is that unless your content is interesting um it's it's you know which in, in indirectly what he says is if your content sucks you know no matter what how much money you spend no matter how much you promote it no matter what you do it will not work right so that's what we are trying to do here okay so now uh let me uh, you know give you a quick uh, you know uh, 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 did, uh, you know i did get introduced but let me just quick give, quickly give you uh, uh, you know in a sense uh, you know uh, an introduction uh, you know, that i like to give right so uh, i've been a content writer and ideator for nearly about uh, 20 years and uh, for the vast majority of that time you know i had to just be consistently good at my writing and thinking and there was no dearth of work right but with this digital transformation that has happened and continues to happen creating content has become so easy for all of us uh, that literally we are drowning in it 24 by 7 you know we're drowning in that content so now if a brand does not own and state its story others will create their own narratives around it and so companies can no longer just hope to sell by promoting their products and services they need to become creators and publishers of content that's useful and interesting to prospects and that creates value even before a sale is made that's why we need story crafting for business and that's what i do all right so and it's not just me uh you know we've been doing this since uh centuries right uh, and we continue to do it right so now uh, what what is story crafting <clears throat> okay uh, so there is uh, you know we keep hearing about storytelling uh, and uh, i want to sort of give a quick differentiation from story uh, telling um, so storytelling is what you know uh, we've got some brilliant people in our group like shireen and shrivi and many others and you know uh, they do personal storytelling they do business storytelling what the difference is uh, and, and 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 as you as you we go through uh, some examples it'll become clearer but uh, the, the 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 difference is that you know i you know in in the case of story crafting stop at that point at which you will be telling that story uh, you know i i i work Uh, you know from the point at which a story needs to be 
figured out created uh, you know found repurposed crafted recrafted you know reworked until it gets to a point where you will now tell it so that's where i stop once you've told it you come back and you know you have inputs and you want to re uh, work it recraft it you know i i take it from there but i do not focus on the telling which means the uh, the uh, intonations the pauses the modulation so i i do storytelling but that's you know as a passion so i am not a sto uh, professional storyteller or a business storyteller you know, i focus on the writing part of it because that's what i've been doing since 20 years right so okay. Um, okay let's see it all yes okay so story crafting is a business tool a technique today it's an essential skill uh, and it is not just about making a presentation okay uh, it's not that you know we make a prezi or we make a ppt and you know that uh, you know because we say you know instead of about us we say our story it does not become a story right working with stories requires an overall strategy what it requires is answering why and what in addition to the how so it's the simon sinek of you know why start with the why and without that there you know there it's not possible to create a story okay it's about engaging listening and creating storied experiences right which ensures that the customers stay loyal and the profits stay up now uh, how do you differentiate uh, uh, you know how do you differentiate uh, these Uh, you know business stories from say uh, real stories right so entertainment stories so in the case of uh, real stories uh, as in entertainment stories bollywood uh, uh, you know netflix amazon prime etc the primary intent is entertainment so i am not saying that there is no in intent to inform yeah, there is but the primary intent is entertainment whereas in the case of business stories the primary intent is to move people to action right so unless i'm i'm sorry i'm muting people uh, 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 you know uh, because uh, you know it, it will disturb everyone if there's something that you'd like to say please unmute yourself say it and then mute yourself again no problem okay so as i so business stories the primary motive is to move people into action so unless there is uh, you know that uh, uh, intent to move people to action uh you know i'm not saying that business stories cannot be entertaining brand story whether it's a brand story whether it is a uh, origin story whether it is a value story whether it is in about us it can definitely be interesting and i will share a few examples but that cannot be the primary purpose so if the primary purpose of an ad is to is 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 that it's been designed with the intent to be impressive and to look good and to win awards but if it does not result in sales and i can give you examples so uh, there was a there was a printer uh, uh, i think it in the uk and the printer came up with this pop up uh, you know uh, uh, very glitzy uh brochure where you know the the uh, printing mechanism was explained in you know those uh, uh, children story style uh, pop ups and everyone uh, you know it was an expensive brochure and everyone praised it but ultimately it resulted in very 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 little business uh, then the next time round you know the, the the focus shifted from making this into a spectacle and turned into focusing on what could the machine do for people you know and they got a respectable 8 and a half percent uh, uh you know uh uh, uh, uh you know uh, mm -hmm. which you know only means that it, it is not about being entertained but it is about uh, you know getting action right and that's the only purpose of content uh and when we say business stories that falls under content right okay awesome so uh, uh moving on to uh let me just very quickly we don't have much time i also want to do some uh, exercises with you all so i will quickly go take you through uh, whatever i feel is really important for you to get a sense of the land but uh, honestly uh, this will really work well when you actually put pen to paper so uh, here are the major business uh, you know story types um, so there is the founding origin story which basically is about why was the company founded i'll 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 come with you know one or two examples uh, going forward um there is uh, value stories uh, value stories is what do we stand for right and uh, uh, the reason this is so important is that uh, uh, you know how many how many of you work in uh, as employees how many of you work for companies do not or, you know or have a company 
uh, where you have uh, you know 200 300 plus employees uh, you know working for you or are working for a uh, you know major company uh, you know at least 200 300 400 500 plus how many of you just say yes on the chat uh, working working for someone else or have or have worked for someone else recently you know like in the last one or two years you were working with a big company an mnc or a corporation in the last one or two years recently quit how many of you just put your okay two parts two of you how many how many of you work with uh, major uh, corporates uh, you know like mncs uh, how many of you uh, you know uh, provide them some sort of a service uh, you know, 300, 400, 500 plus companies, and you, you know, you do, you provide them some sort of a product or a service to them. How many of you? Just again, raise your hand. Okay. Awesome. Now, how many of you will remember the values uh, and what it means? You know, if I or someone was to come to you and say, okay, you know, Johnson and Johnson or, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Ad Labs or any of these major companies, right? Uh, uh, LNT. If I say, what are the values? How many of you will remember? Okay. Okay. These are the three values, uh, A, B, C. And, you know, this is what it means. How many of us remember that? No one. I, I, I would be hard pressed to remember the values, even though I work with so many companies, I'll be hard pressed to remember it at times. And it's not, it's not our fault or it's no one's fault. It's just that it's so difficult to remember. Right. And that is why value stories are so important. And I'll also give an example of that. Uh, also how to repurpose that uh, to make it better. Right. Uh, so we have values stories. We have process stories. Process stories is uh, means why do we do what we do? Success stories, which is customer. Uh, uh, so while I mentioned testimonials, because that's easy to understand, I do not really mean the testimonial in the sense that you see online. Oh, they are fantastic, and you know, not that's not what we mean. And I'll come to that as well. Uh, future means uh, vision stories, scenario stories, and of, of course, marketing and branding, which includes ads. Right now, stories create and sustain corporate culture. Right. And uh, uh, what 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 we are going to do is now we are going to quickly jump into uh, you know my domain, uh, which is fictional stories, uh, you know content, and the styles and the techniques uh, and the formats that are used in there, and how we could apply those to craft our own stories, right? So, so here's an example. There are many, but you know, we'll just cover one for now. Uh, so this, many of you might have heard of it. It's called the hero's journey. Uh, it's a very, very, very well-known template for story design. Uh, uh, it, it's very, very old, but it was popularized by Joseph Campbell in his book, the hero with a thousand faces. Uh, so it's a collection of stages that a pro protagonist or, uh, you know, hero. Now, when I say anything that I say here is gender neutral, uh, it's just the term that is used. So if I say hero, it does not mean only male, uh, you know, and I don't want to say hero, heroine, it, it gets very, uh, you know, uh, uh, complicated. So when I, whatever I use is gender neutral. Yeah. So uh, the hero goes through, uh, you know, uh, a collection of stages in order to obtain a goal and transform in the process. Right. So, um, this, this is so ingrained in our collective psyche that, uh, you can find it in every single myth and oral tradition. If I ask you to suggest a story uh, that you've read or seen or heard, uh, can any of you chat, put in the chat, you know, anything that you've heard or read, uh, that fits in with this, uh, you know, with this, uh, journey of, uh, a hero, uh, you know, uh, going on a quest, uh, you know, unsure, uh, meets a mentor. Uh, you know, uh, finds a friend, gets tested, meets the enemy, you know, uh, nearly, you know, loses and eventually wins. So if I was to ask you to uh, put down some examples of such stories, uh, can you quickly just uh, put down uh, some examples? Harry Potter, Star Wars, Ramayan, of course. What else? Any, any, okay. Spider-Man, yes. Just saw a movie yesterday. Yes, absolutely. Narnia, Avengers. Uh, practically, 
you know any of these uh, movies which have a quest in them which have a journey in them lord of the rings uh, you know practically you know half the movies that you will see will have this kind of uh, format right so it's a very very popular format and the reason it is popular is it works uh, and it works so it is popular it's a circular argument but you know the my my point being that it is something we must use right now i'm going to uh, show you uh, an example uh, of uh, you know how a company has used it uh, we're not i'm i i i'm trying to ensure that the content we create is not very expensive so there are many video examples uh, that are available but i've taken print and i've taken an example that any of us can actually uh, imp- apply uh, with minimal budget right so that is why i have taken this example right so now if you look at this what it, what what you see here is uh, you know travel far enough and you'll meet yourself right so if you look at the hero's journey that is exactly what it does you you if you travel far enough so there is a lot of things that are implied in this that there is an ordeal there is uh, challenges that uh, he uh, you know uh, uh, this uh, you know protagonist has been through and ultimately his reward is that he you know becomes himself right so it's for a company called sedventure which is a travel company of course uh, you know in this at this point in this time you know travel is really uh, you know not in a good space but the point being that you can take the hero's journey uh, and and figure out who your audience is who is your customer what are they looking for and then see how can i apply this right so uh, uh, you know it it takes a little bit of effort but uh, how how uh, powerful this can be is you know right in front of you uh, you know it, this is no longer just a travel agency trying to promote some destination or some uh, interesting uh, new service you know they're talking about the customer who's the hero of their story and every one of us is the hero of our own story okay for a brand what is most important is not the brand itself but their customer who is the hero of that story and in fact the brand then becomes the mentor right so the brand becomes the mentor a lot of times what tends to happen is we you know tend to talk a lot about our own self in terms of this is what i've done or this is what we've done and we've got so many clients and we've won so many awards and uh, you know we're across you know 22 uh, countries and uh, you know a- a- b c d e f and you know we're going to be a billion dollar company and at the end of it the customer is left feeling wow awesome but what's in it for me mere ko kya right mere ko what are you going to do for me and if that is not answered then i feel like i am you know not the hero of my own story then i don't want to engage with the brand okay if a brand makes me feel like the hero of my story then i want to move take it forward and say okay i i you know lovely you know i'm the hero and and if you notice in all the examples you've given the hero at the start is always weak always confused not willing to take up uh, you know the mantle uh, you know and whether it is spider man uh, you know who eventually has uh, peter parker who has to eventually do that with uh, you know great power comes great responsibility or uh, you know uh, sam and frodo in lord of the rings they are forced to take it up or they struggle to take it up and that is what your uh, customer wants to see uh, you know that hey i'm i'm not sure about this i would like to achieve this desire Uh, i would like to become wealthier i would like to become thinner i would like to become more intelligent i would like my kids to uh, yeah, you know uh, have better focus i would like to be able to cook better write, write better uh, you know dance better i would like to you know uh, have a house that looks beautiful but i'm not sure whether i can i am not sure what i need to do etc 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 and that's when the brand comes in as a mentor you know and gives something and that usually at this point in time is content that helps you to be able to move forward all right so so that you know nutsh nutshell is uh, you know how you apply the hero's journey um okay so here's uh, you know uh, oops here's another way to uh, you know another uh, you know uh, format uh, in which you can craft your brand story and i will i will give an example of this so it's a protagonist 
who has a desire that is out of reach because so this is in a sense taken from the hero's journey but we've sort of just taken some of the points we've not taken all the points so the idea is to you know it is so adaptable that you can actually use it to uh, you know to create multiple formats and you know this is one of the formats so uh, you know let's uh, this is an example that uh, you know i uh, uh, you know found in uh, uh, you know uh, my uh, you know someone i look up to in this space uh, you know indranil chakraborty who uh, you know is a master business story crafter and teller um, so uh, you know in there uh, you know uh, he gives an example of a receptionist at the uh, uh, you know mahindra holidays one of the properties and gets a call from a member who's stuck in traffic and uh, you know the member has children uh, in in the car and uh, uh, you know uh, they, they, because of the traffic they, they they're not sure when whether they will be able to reach by lunch time so they request that some food be kept uh, for them and the children um so as the receptionist is uh, you know relaying the message to the restaurant uh, you know a colleague says uh, you know uh you know i don't think they will be able to be or even uh, before uh, you know uh, evening because uh, i just found out that it's really bad traffic there's been some sort of an accident and there's no way they are going to be here so uh, you might want to you know keep, keep some tea uh, etc as well right and uh, the receptionist was like but there are cars uh, there are children in the car right so his shift uh, you know is about to get over so he goes to a restaurant uh, picks up some food uh, you know without telling anyone gets on his bike uh, and and it's 12 kilometers from where he is and it's not along his way uh, he keeps calling uh, you know the car uh, you know uh, the the member finds them hands over the food and says you know here's some food for you you know you guys must be hungry there's more food once you reach there right so that's the story yeah it's a it's an inspiring story uh, you know it's a uh, uh, you know no room for ordinary uh, kind of uh, which is what their value uh, you know was and uh, while it's nice uh when i looked at it and 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 again this is just my viewpoint but uh, when i when i looked at that the story and i looked at you know this format of a protagonist who has a desire which is out of reach due to an obstacle that results in conflict and tension uh okay who is able to transform or grow with the help of a mentor resulting in success right when i looked at this i found that one um you know yes there is a desire for the receptionist to uh, serve the member uh but and 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 the obstacle while the obstacle was yes it is 12 kilometers away it was not really uh, uh daunting it was not uh, you know 120 kilometers it was 12 kilometers and 12 kilometers on a bike is manageable so for someone who really wants to go out of the way it it was not really a conflict or an obstacle that made me feel like oh it was it really really uh, you know uh, that difficult you know so he saw he felt there were kids he did it uh, so uh, you know and and um, you know my point is not that you know to be little what 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 he did my point is how can i repurpose this that is all i'm trying to say how do i repurpose this so if i need to take this uh, flow and i repurpose it the way i could do it is that uh, you know uh a couple is you know on the way uh, uh to the resort they're looking forward to it with their children in the car along the route uh you know they, they're expecting to be there you know just before lunch time so they'll you know pack light uh, with food um suddenly on the way uh you know there's a uh, you know a traffic jam um they stop uh, behind one of the cars thinking there must be some toll or something and you know he'll free up in a bit and uh, you know they they grab a bite uh, and soon the 5 minutes turn to 10 to 30 and now they're getting worried because uh, you know they don't have food uh, they, they'll soon be out of water and uh, now they're sort of uh, uh, wondering what to do by this time this cars parked and uh, packed all the way behind uh, and nothing in sight there is no stall no food around uh, that they can get out and pick something up now suddenly uh, interesting uh, pro- uh, you know uh, character uh, the desire is not to reach the resort honestly the desire is you know right now to just figure out some food because any moment now the children will start feeling hungry in about half an hour and they are no there's no way they're going to be there so the desire now is i need we need to get food for our children and ourselves and some water that's the desire right uh, so it's a strong desire it's not wish that oh it will be great if i get this no it's a strong desire right i we need to figure this out then uh, and there is a obstacle there's a conflict because there is no way that uh, you know they're going to be able to uh, you know move the car anywhere there's no, nothing around right what 
happens next is that they get a call uh, you know they decide to call up uh, you know the resort and tell them that this is what's happening i'm going to quickly run through this because we i've already shared it uh, you know and this is what's happened and it, to please keep some food and by now the children are getting cranky and uh, the parents are beginning to sort of uh, blame each other saying oh we should have kept more food you should have kept more food etc and a little while uh, in a while they get a call uh, you know from the reception saying that uh, you know what i'm on the way uh where are you guys and these guys are like what you know why are you coming what is going on uh, but they of course uh, happy right and the uh, receptionist comes over gives them uh, some food and water and tells them that you know uh, there is more food uh, and this the parents are really uh, delighted at this turn of events because now through club mahendra and this receptionist becoming a catalyst they are able to achieve their desire which is to have food for themselves and their children so this is a repurposed story slight masala added but this to me and to any others who i have shared this with uh, you know is far more uh, you know uh, uh, you know uh, uh, emotional because it comes from the point of a parent uh, has children anyone who has ever uh, you know uh even looked after young children will have this feeling oh bechare bacche right so this automatically gives uh you know uh, uh people uh the audience a, an inside view uh you know of how these people are feeling and how terrible it is for them to not have food and water in, in, at a juncture like this and then to be you know feel delight and relief when the food comes in so the emotional journey the up and down is far more with you know this kind of a repurposing right so uh, this what i just shared with you is one example of story recrafting for business where you take an existing story look at this uh, now again if the story was to be used purely for internal purposes for you know and which is what it is in this case uh, uh, you know in in there it is meant only for internal consumption uh the original version still is fine because at the end of the day everyone would be able hello sarin yes uh, kindly hold the mic closer to you here because many of us are not able to hear you okay is this better yeah good very good okay sorry okay so if uh, if uh, you know if if the story was to be used uh, for the purpose of internal uh, you know inspiration only and not for anything else then the original would still work however i still feel that even if the employees are you know the story is meant for only internal purpose at the end of the day most of the employees will also either be parents or would have children around them and would still feel the pain not just uh you know as an employee but also as a guardian or a parent would feel the pain of you know having children around them who might go hungry and so the empathy level is higher right and that is one, this is one example of uh, you know uh, story recrafting or, or story crafting uh, another very quick example uh, and uh, i personally believe that uh, you know we can use all kinds of stories uh, depending on the audience depending on the context if you uh, uh, you know including fictional stories including fables i'm not saying you know they should be used i'm not saying that you know lies or uh, you know uh you know kahaniya uh, is better than the truth most of the times real life is far more interesting but that is not to say that you know judiciously used we cannot uh, tap into uh, you know epics or fables or uh, you know uh, mythology or films or we can we just have to be careful about the audience the context so just as a, a quick example uh, how many of you have heard this story about uh, Uh, this uh, I, I, am i clear now uh, because uh, uh, i'm sorry i i did not realize that the mic had sort of slipped yes okay awesome um, how many of you have heard this story about uh, you know the elephant being tied to a stump by a rope uh, how many of you have heard that where uh, uh, you know the uh, a per- passer by uh, says you know why is the elephant not uh, you know just snapping the rope how many how many you have okay many of you have heard right now i tried using this story at uh, you know at an educational institute now again i am not saying that you know i probably you know did not do it as well as uh, you know many of you uh, would but i used it and the first response i got from the, these bunch of 18 19 year olds was oh but you know uh, you know he, he you know that elephant is so dumb right uh, you know does it not know that it can just break it i said no but you know and then i instead of you know trying to talk about how uh, you know we limit ourselves 
uh, we, you know, I was trying to defend the elephant by saying that, you know, the elephant, you know, from childhood. So, you know, the entire story went sideways. And in the process of it, after that, I was wondering, how, you know, is there some other way in which I could have told that story? So at that point, I took that story, broke it apart and said, okay, what am I actually trying to do here? Okay, why is the passerby there? The passerby has no purpose. The, you know, I don't need to know the story from the passerby's point of view because the passerby is judgmental. And then immediately, the moment I say the story from the passerby's point of view, I am stepping into the passerby's, uh, uh, you know, shoes and saying, oh, you know, what a stupid elephant, right? And, and that is not the purpose. So what if I take out the uh, passerby and, you know, I, I tweak the story a bit and say, okay, uh, you know, there was this elephant. Uh, he was, you know, at the edge of the forest, uh, you know, resting. The mouth was having food. Uh, so was the elephant. Uh, he was tied with a rope to a tree, uh, to a stump. And uh, while he was having food, he looked around and he saw these bunch of squirrels uh, playing. And uh, he called out to one of them and said, hey, you know, uh, what are you doing? And saying, oh, we're just having some fun. We're playing, we're eating. Uh, we, we, you know, in a while, we're going to go and play a game. And he's like, and I, you know, I wish I could join you. And this guy's like, yeah, sure. Uh, why don't you? And he's like, no, I can't because I'm tied to this rope. And so the squirrel's like, so break it. And he's like, no, I can't. I've tried. It won't break. So the squirrel's like, are you sure you want to join? And uh, the elephant's like, absolutely, but I can't. So he's like, can I help you? He's like, yes, I, you know, if you can, I'll be, I'll be, you know, grateful. So the squirrel's like, you know what, I feel like helping you, but you know, you're such a dumb animal, you know, that I don't want to help you. You know, you, there's no, nothing that, you know, uh, I, I would uh, want to do, uh, you know, uh, that will make, help you. Uh, you know, uh, you, you, you're a waste. Uh, you have such a big head and there's no brains. And he, and he just riles the elephant and the elephant gets angrier and angrier. And finally, he can't take it. And he tries to, uh, you know, reach out for the squirrel. And in the process, the rope, uh, you know, breaks. And the squirrel jumps away and says, uh, you're free. And the elephant's like, oh, uh, you know, you did it. He's like, no, I, I have not done anything. You know, you did it. Uh, you know, all I did was, you know, showed you indirectly that you could. Right. So it's the same story. But now what I've done is I've made, uh, <laughs> we should not harm animals. No, no animals were harmed in this, uh, in the recrafting and narration of the story. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, jokes apart. The the point is that uh, you know a lot uh, a lot you know when 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 I look at the story from this point of view, what happens is that uh, you know immediately uh, you know the story uh, you know my my viewpoint is the elephants, and instead of feeling that the elephant is stupid, I feel uh, you know that the elephant just has ignorance, does not has lack of knowledge, does not know how strong. It is. That's all there is, right? It's just the awareness issue, nothing else, right? And that, you know, is something that, you know, I then use to tell someone that, you know, in your space, in what you do, your talent, your, you, your, your, your ability is as much as the physical ability of an elephant. It's just that you're not even aware how, how strong you are in there. Right? And, and, and what, what, we're, what, what we're doing here is we're just, you know, saying that as a squirrel, I'm trying to help you to, you know, unblock your, uh, you know, strength, right? So that, that uh, you know, is an example of how uh, you can recraft a story. Okay, so now uh, let's move to, quickly move to the next one. Uh, th this is about how you can recraft your about us. Now, a lot of us, you know, if you go on to, uh, you know, uh, our websites and I tell, and I ask, okay, uh, forget about going to the website. If I tell you right now, what's on the, uh, about us of the page, uh, website that you went to today. Uh, and I can promise you 99% of you will not, uh, even if you've read it, you will not remember what's on the about us. Uh, many of us may not even remember what's on the about us of our own, uh, website. Why? Because, you know, it, it is just. This is what I, uh, what we did. This is where we are. This is when we uh, got started. These, this is the number of uh, awards we've won. And these are the, you know, kind of achievements we have and we're fantastic and, and, you know, fine. We are like, this is about us. We talk about ourselves. Yes. But you know, what if you were to talk about uh, yourselves from the viewpoint again of the one person who's really, really, really important in the scheme of things. And that's the customer, right? So, uh, uh, great. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, you know, I, 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 my point about recrafting is uh, it is to tell you that you can take any story that you've been using, uh, you know, sit with it, look at your audience, figure out what is it that you're, you're trying to do there. 
figure out the context and say, can I take my story that I've been using again and again and again, but you need to put it onto paper. You cannot do this in the mind. Uh, our mind is not capable of be taking a story, uh, breaking it apart, uh, you know, putting it here, there. It's not going to happen. The only way it will happen is if you put it on paper, uh, because then you can look at it as a third person and say, okay, what's working, what's not working. So if you do that, you can recraft a story as well as I can. It's, you know, it's not really difficult. We're all born storytellers. Uh, you know, at least, you know, all of us can craft stories. It's just a matter of practice. Okay. Okay. So if we were to look at, uh, say, uh, you know, about us, uh, here's a very, very powerful and a very simple about us uh, structure, right? And this, you can apply today. You can, you can actually do this right now. You can take your pen and paper and apply it. I'll, I'm going to give you two examples. Uh, and you can actually rewrite your about us, which can, you can use on your website. You could use in your profile. Uh, you could use on your presentation. You can use it anywhere. Okay. So problem, insight, actions, vision. So I'm, I will, here, here's an example of, uh, uh, you know, if you can see on the screen, um, what's the problem on a cold winter evening in Paris, Travis Kalanick and, and this is a true story, right? And Garrett camp couldn't get a ride insight. What if you could request a ride from your phone actions The two entrepreneurs develop a smartphone app that lets people uh, tap a button and get a ride. Uber is born. A thought turns into a brand vision. We ignite opportunity by setting the world in motion. Problem insight, action, vision, problem past insight. Insight is past uh, that it happened, but it happened because you have a certain unique ability, experience, know how that because of which only you had the insight and no one else had the insight. Okay. Because of which you took action, some action, you, you formed something, you, uh, maybe a model, uh, 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 a new way of looking at, at uh, you know, uh, something, uh, 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 a pro new product or new offering. So you, you took action that today has created where you are right now. Uh, you know, and now we are in the present, the action takes us from past to the present and then uh, you know, we go to the future, which is the vision, right? So where do I see, or, you know, if I'm the founder, where do I see, uh, you know, uh, this company product service offering, making a dent in the universe, you know, so to say. So, uh, uh, let me give you another example. This is my own example. Um, so problem as an artist, I wanted to see more creativity and art in the architecture around me in the city. I'm from Mumbai, right? And I felt that except for South Mumbai and a couple of other places, uh, there isn't enough art uh, in the architecture, right? Insight. What if I could offer my expertise? Is the audio gone? I, am I audible? No, some you're food? audible. Ashish Jain is saying. You're audible. Okay, you're okay, audible. okay, okay, okay. Oh. Ashish just messaged that, you know, there's no audio. Audio gone. Okay. Um, uh, Rajiv, there might be many stories. Yes. Which one should we take? Uh, you know, that's a conversation we'll have to have separately because I will have to understand the context. I'll have to understand what kind of stories are you already using, but, uh, you know, you can honestly use the story that you're already using right now, rather than looking at other stories, you, you must be using four, five, and these are necessarily not necessarily, uh, fables or, you know, myths. This could be your real life examples, your own personal examples, the examples of other clients. I'm all I'm saying is with the club, like with the club Mahindra example, can I take an existing story that I'm already using? Can I look at it afresh with fresh pair of eyes by, by putting it onto paper? Can I repurpose it? Can I change the uh, end? Can I change the beginning? Can I start somewhere else? Uh, you know, can I uh, change the objective and see if it works? Can I, you know, so once you start doing, working on that, you know, you'll find so many versions and so many possibilities out of which few you will be able to take, right? Uh, we, we can have a more detailed uh, conversation later, uh, but you know, because I want to just quickly take, uh, you know, everyone through this and, and, and do this exercise if possible. Okay. So problem, as I mentioned insight, what if I could offer my expertise and passion to an architectural school so as to influence the students to incorporate literature, stories, poetry in their thinking action. I took uh, Academy of Architecture, Rachna Sansad was seeking projects for electives. I pitched some ideas that was 2017. Over the last three years, I have facilitated four electives, 27 sessions, 100 plus hours and worked with about 35 architectural students. My vision work with 100 plus students and young architects to bring more art, art into architecture in uh, our city. Right now, this is specifically for, uh, you know, uh, 
my work with the architectural schools right so this is just a quick example of the kind of work that has already happened where we are incorporating art and ideation and uh, creativity into you know uh, uh, you know into what they do uh, right now we're looking to work on a book uh, around uh, the use of lit you know using literature and films inspired by mumbai and, and and taking the themes from there to create architecture in mumbai so that you know we're looking to uh, turn that into a book you know the students are working on it so my point being this what i just mentioned problem insight action vision is one offering of mine right and i have put this down in a way which makes it interesting so what i want you all to do is uh, you know take one offering or even your company uh, you know put down the problem that you saw a few years back when you said hey there's an opportunity here there's a problem that i can address you know it could be for one offering specific offering need not be everything you do but just put down a problem saying this was what i saw put down what insight got you to come up with a unique solution because if everyone else is offering the same solution uh, then there is it's commodity right and then commodity means only price there is nothing there is nothing to differentiate so differentiation happens when there is something unique so what's the insight and how did why did you uh, how did you what was the insight three what action did you take then how is that action action continuing today and fourth where do you see you know this continuing in say 10 years 15 years down the line so just four lines if you can quickly start putting that down for any one of your offering or your company or anything that you do and just share it on the group just one one line very quickly it doesn't matter if it's not perfect it doesn't matter if it's you know uh, just keywords that's fine the point is to just you know try it out try out put put this if you put it down you know uh, it'll get you going uh, you know the next time you come back to it it'll get better and and this is such a simple way to tell people what is it that you do why do you do it how did you go about it what are you trying to solve and that's what people want to know what's the problem you're solving how 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 are you able to solve it you know better than others and your problem then the insight the action and then the vision is saying is giving you exactly that uh the the questions are uh what's the problem that uh, you you were addressing look you you when when you got started with whatever offering you have currently or are looking to offer what was the problem that you saw what that to look were looking to address what is the insight that you have that got you a solution for that what's the action you took and are taking and what's your vision on this 10 years 15 years down the line here it's on the screen what's the problem what's your insight what is the action you taking and what's your vision yeah uber uber slide is here please share awesome uh, uh, uh priya the uh, action uh, so so the problem and the insight is 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 uh, is a uh, problem is super insight pictorum modulum a module pictogram module is slightly difficult to uh, uh, you know visualize so you'll need to give a a, a little more for, so that even a lay person would be able to understand what is it that you know the uh, you know so the insight is actually uh, your tool you know the idea is not to mention the tool the idea is to mention what was the what was what experience or background or idea do you have that allowed you to come up with a solution for your problem okay that is the insight action is this is the action that i'm i, I took and this so if you if you if, if you look at this look at the uber action two entrepreneurs developed a smartphone app that let let people tap a button and get a ride uber was born the thought quickly grew into a google brand easy to understand 
children suffering from inhibition sign no self expression what if i use storytelling as an effective tool uh, awesome awesome good start you can uh, you know uh, any anyone wants to anyone wants to uh, you know unmute themselves and share uh, you know if this has been uh, useful to them have they got something interesting uh you know till now uh, out of uh, you know these exercises please go ahead so that you know i'll also know how how we are doing right now hi so again ruchi here yeah ruchi so uh, we can speak about this problem thing that's what you are saying right uh i i we can but the point is that uh, you know it'll be far better to put it on the chat and mm -hmm. we can take it offline because i need to complete a few more oh. things you know if we, what i want to know is is this something okay. that is sparking some ideas in you are you feeling that okay i think i can so, you know solve something for myself and my customers with this is what i'm trying to understand so that i know if you know i have been detailed enough or in the next i need to go more further so i'm just trying to get some feedback because you know we can't see each other uh, and i usually like to work face to face so i'm just trying to understand how this is going so far uh um, when because uh, like we most of our uh, us are from training fraternity so training is i think the base of what we are doing this so we are uh, most of the time we are not aware that it is helping us and sure 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 also but what we can do is once we're done with this you know if we have some time or even offline i i can go through whatever you know if you can send share it with me i can go through it and give you some feedback because uh, i right now i i just want to quickly cover a few tools so that you know you could apply this and of course the video recording will be made available in any case uh, but i wanted to share some tools that you could use uh, to you know start crafting uh, some content uh, some stories for yourself uh, okay awesome uh yeah uh, change the insight uh, also if you can uh, you know uh, so basically it's you know this is like anything else uh, it will work with uh, practice uh, so the first time round it it need not be uh, as uh, impactful but with time it will get better a couple of drafts and you know you you and, and share it share it with a few people you'll get feedback you can keep recrafting it okay uh, you can use it for a website uh this website uh, you know is for a client uh, i you know and i've created it in, with the same uh, you know the home page has been created using the same thought process uh, there's a problem uh is, is your mep consultant partnering you or are they just doing a job are your structures engineering services efficient accessible cost effective that's a problem uh you know uh, uh you know uh, is your creativity and design philosophy compromised if you see at the bottom so so this is basically multiple uh, you know folds it's a website a front page it's a, it's a scrolling website so every page is a, is one step in this so there's a problem the insight is that you know these people have you, you know the understanding of how to deal with all of this through years of experience and having worked with some of the top clients around the world so that's the insight you know resulting in action and you know the uh, you know last part is what are they trying to do so you can actually even use these four points to create your own pr presentation flow website you know about us anything you know it's up to you uh, you can even use it to create some sort of training even if it's uh, you know focused on one specific uh, to do uh, okay so uh, we are at uh, wow okay time flies uh, okay so this is uh, you know something i had mentioned right at the front uh i had introduced myself uh, this is a tool called and but therefore and you can use this to write a quick uh, elevator pitch for yourself or for your company uh you know or you know for a specific offering so like you know if you see this it's like uh, and i have been uh, this is what i am and this is what used to be but with what is going on right now with covid that, that's going on right now or uh, recession that's going on right now or whatever is going on right now things have changed in my industry or our industry or your industry therefore this is what we have come up with or i have come up with so you know this is who uh, what i who i am and what i do and this is what i have been doing or have we been doing for so long uh, we all have been doing for so long but things have now changed you know uh, over the last few months weeks days years and therefore this is our new offering 
Okay, so this basically gives you a very quick and dirty way to put down your elevator pitch uh, or profile within you know a couple of minutes. You can or for any offering, you can just put this and but therefore this is uh, uh, you know from a uh, you know book by Randy Olson called Houston. We have a narrative, uh, but you know it's it's really powerful and uh, you can you can take this and apply it right away. Okay, uh, my vision is to be the training platform. Okay. I will go through the chat peacefully and uh, you know, if wherever I can later on, I will uh, revert. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, yes, uh, you know, one more uh, thing that uh, we all need to create, which is ads, right? Which is social media ads, which could be WhatsApp ads. Um, and your ads too need to be story crafted, right? In order to break through the clutter, which is everywhere, right? It's not just, uh, you know, in one place, today there's clutter everywhere. So you need to break through it. So here's a very, very simple, uh, uh, you know, but effective way in which you can do it. Uh, take an unusual, unexpected hook. And I'll give you uh, an example of that after this. Uh, a promise of a transformation, a call to action, a CTA, right? So what's the hook? The hook is think deeply about the audience your content needs to reach. Okay. What are some common threads that affect their lives? Think about how can you bring that out? What's the promise? People want to go through a transformation. Help them experience that transformation or give them a feeling that they can given the opportunity change and become better and cta is what's the takeaway you know what is the lesson what do you want the audience to feel and do right so here's here's an example right so this is basically uh, um, you know not an ad that i made but it's brilliant it's one of my fav you know most favorite is ads um, i believe in the cause uh, in, and so it probably works better for me but it's an unusual unexpected hook it says, don't buy this jacket, right? Uh, and, uh, you know, here's a company that makes a jacket that says, don't buy this jacket, right? Uh, so it's an unusual, unexpected hook, right? There's a promise of a transformation. If you read this, what's on the side, uh, they're giving you an opportunity to transform not just yourself, but the world, right? By reducing, repairing, reusing, recycling, right? And they're calling it Common Threads Initiative, right? And a call to action, reimagine together. We will reimagine a world where we take only what nature can replace. Right? So this is a very powerful way to, you know, create uh, an ad. Right? Hello, Manisha, am I audible now? I don't know what is the problem. Is this fine? Hello? Yeah, you're audible. Okay. Oh, Manisha mentioned that uh, I, my voice is gone. Uh, okay. Awesome. So um, here's uh, an example of, uh, uh, you know, how the same thing, uh, you know, was, was applied. Uh, this is uh, for a, uh, again, <laughs> travel, uh, you know, uh, travel obviously uh, is going through a really bad patch, but uh, this was slightly before that, uh, you know, unfortunately, because of some technical issue, we couldn't complete this. And now, of course, uh, with uh, the current situation, you know, this is on the back burner, but the, the, the application idea was what the client loved. Um, you know, they're a travel company. They were looking to create an inbound brochure. And, uh, you know, the, the hook was express your love for Qatar through your art, right? So for a travel company to have this on their, uh, on their, as a hook, you know, immediately gets you thinking, ki, why, why is the travel company talking about art? They're not talking about destinations. They're talking about art and saying love, express your love for Qatar and resource only for, in, you know, internal Qatar, inside Qatar promotion, right? And so that's the hook. Uh, the promise is the campaign calls out to the world, inviting you to celebrate the spirit of Qatar. So basically, you know, it's about it's a promise that together we will celebrate the spirit of Qatar by exploring, the, you know, the uh, uh, you know heart of art of Qatar, right? And the best entries will get compiled together into a presentation, which will be so. In, in, so the brochure that will be sent out as an inbound will, ha you know, will have artworks made by Qataris, you know. Uh, uh, you know, where they are cherishing and celebrating Qatar, right? So the client was like, you know, awesome. You, you know, it really worked well for them. Um, and then the, uh, you know, basically the call to action is basically, you know, these are the details. That's how you send it, right? So here's an example of how, you know, you can create a campaign out of this, uh, you know, a hook transformation and call to action, right? Uh, okay, now, uh, just to, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, give another example of an elevator pitch. Uh, and this is something that's useful to uh, a lot of us who are especially freelancers, trainers, 
uh, entrepreneurs, but even people who work, right? Uh, if, if you're looking to get hired somewhere else, uh, you know, uh, this is something that works if equally well. If you're looking to pitch to uh, an angel investor or, you know, another investor and you want to just sort of get there, get them on, in conversation, this would work. If you're anything that you're looking to quickly pitch uh, and you have 30 seconds, you know, this works. Um, grab attention, introduce yourself and your intent. Uh, why me? Why now? Conclude with CTA, right? So uh, let's, let's, let me give you an example. Okay. So, if, if, so uh, I say, uh, did you know that every day you, you are writing content for yourself and you're losing money? Let me show you how. I'm a content writer with two decades of experience and every piece of content I create is with the intent of creating sales for you by showing your customers that they benefit more by working with you than without you. And in today's challenging times, people will either want to pay less or want more value, more value for the same price. My content can help you keep your margins and your profits. Why don't we schedule a no obligation 30 minute call for tomorrow or next Monday, right? Grab attention by saying, did you know that every day you are writing content and you are losing money? So that's like, huh? What are you talking about? Okay. Introduce yourself and your intent. Let me show you how I'm a content writer with two decades of experience and every piece of content I create is with the intent of creating sales. Why me? Why now? Today's challenging times. Conclusion. My content can help you keep your margins and your profits. Why don't we schedule a no obligation 30 minute call? Right? So this is how you can have, create your own elevator pitch. Um, if, if any of you, uh, uh, these are some questions that you can use in order to answer those. So if any of you wants to uh, try an elevator pitch and share it, uh, you know, we can uh, take uh, in you know, a minute or so, uh, use the uh, same format of uh, grab attention in this one and, uh, you know, share it on the chat and maybe, you know, we can try and sort of uh, craft it a bit. CTA is call to action. So in my case, the call to action is, uh, why don't we schedule a no obligation 30 minute call for tomorrow or next Monday as an example. So if you, if you can, uh, you know, create some sort of, a uh, you know, uh, first cut the first draft elevator pitch and you share it, uh, uh, you know, here, I will be happy to, you know, uh, give my initial inputs. Uh, again, it, it's not going to uh, be complete uh, uh, in, in, a, in, in a few uh, minutes or, uh, you know, half a day, it will take you a couple of days of work. But yes, uh, you know, with this, you can build it far quicker and better. Uh, this is tried and tested. No session is not complete. I'm I'm just uh, I'm just waiting for uh, some of you to uh, put down. Uh, you know, uh, if you have to, or if you think you need more time, then you know I'm happy to uh, you know uh, look at it. Uh, you know, but uh, my point is, you know, the the best way to get started is was just putting it down once. You know, once you put it down, you can keep building on it. Again, am I inaudible again? Okay. Okay. Uh, Minal, Minal, uh, am I audible now, Minal? Okay. Awesome. So, uh, okay. Awesome. So does anyone of you have uh, uh, something that uh, they would like to share uh, or uh, sh should we, you know, we are at uh, 8.30. Uh, 
so um i you know am done uh, you know i just now have a little bit of uh, you know sort of conclusion uh, so in in case you want to work on this exercise i am happy to uh, you know give it an, a, another 10 minutes uh, and if you think you need more time then you know i'll conclude and then i can open this up to question answers sure uh, just share whatever you have uh, you know it's okay uh, the first cut is always going to be uh, very uh, iffy but that's how it is no problem this is zoya here and this world where learning english is complicated and time consuming i'm here to uh, what is epp uh, ep uh, uh, uh ep is uh, uh, elevator pitch uh, i i think that's what you mean uh anuradha i will pass on your message to um, to elroy uh, um i don't know uh, normally it's on whatsapp um uh, sorry yeah so yeah i just... hi sorry to interrupt yeah um yeah. I you, just yeah. So you told you. Yeah, this is I your, think it, by in the others where learning English is complicated and time consuming. I'm here to make it easy and easy for you. Right. Okay. I I just okay. want. I thought. Will this like? Is this what you're referring to? This is what you expected. Okay. Like in simple terms. So 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 uh, you know uh, basically uh, uh, you know uh, if you look at grabbing attention, studying mm -hmm. English easily. uh you know is 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 you know is great for someone who uh, you know uh, may not uh, may may find it difficult but i believe right. that you can make it even more uh, interesting so maybe maybe raise a question uh, maybe make it slightly uh, controversial maybe put up a mm. comment uh, you know so if you have some in startling facts uh, or, or number figures for instance like you know if you say that right. uh, you know uh, it, it, it learning english uh, you know will improve your uh, ability to uh, learning uh, you know bet, you know imp improving your english by 30% will improve your earning by 70% i mean whatever you know if you correct, have some numbers correct, like you. that that sort got of says oh okay i didn't know this like you know so even someone who is like okay i i am okay would say is it so can i you know let me know more right correct, so correct. get get Means that, that will... get that mm -hmm. attention where where they would say okay hey i need to read more i need to know what is what i what is this person talking about that's so that's mm -hmm. the idea your elevator building pitch curiosity can, is what you're yes, saying like. your elevator pitch can only get you a conversation that's the only purpose get the mm -hmm. conversation further that's all it, it's not intending to correct. sell it is intending to Uh, get that person to say okay fine i'll give you uh, let's talk for you know half an hour or 10 minutes or one hour or whatever it is the next meeting that's the idea perfect got you yeah? and you. and then you introduce yourself uh, you know and and again uh, instead of saying complicated again you if once you grab their attention just you know introduce yourself rather than saying this is zoya you 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 could talk about let's say your uh your you know that you worked with say uh, 500 you know uh, uh, you know students for the last two years or whatever just to sort of get them saying wow you know so this is your opportunity to quickly get them to know that you are the one who can help them do this what they what they just got curious about right right yeah? got to thank you but it's also it's okay as in you know at the first cut it's absolutely fine yeah yeah i i get Right, right. Thank you, thank you. Awesome, awesome. Your employees are making you lose money instead of helping you make money. I'm a trainer in learning concern who has been helping corporates to convert employees into value creators. Okay, uh, pretty good for a first cut. Um, I uh, employees are making you. Yes, I'm a run trainer and learning consultant. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, why me? Why now? If you can bring in a little bit of uh, why me? Why now? Uh, you know, uh, make that. crisper and better and and start with end with a cta a call to action uh, you know so always leave an uh, you know uh, uh, never leave the in a communication open always have a call to action the call to action need not be a, a sell sales it could just be you know uh, let's connect uh, you know uh, you know let's schedule a, a, a another conversation or something just always close it close the conversation with something next step have some sort of a next step uh, you know in inbuilt into your uh, you know elevator pitch But otherwise, Thank it's pretty good for a first cut. Understood. Thank you so much. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Uh, every single day, you're going to lay years from your dream. Your dream of becoming superstar. We can help you fulfill your dream. Uh, 
uh, Sonia, uh, you know, you when you say super, uh, your dream superstar, uh, I'm not sure what you're talking about till the fourth line when you say comedy reality. If you're going to focus on comedy reality and not C2B, then you have to start with something to do with comedy because, uh, you know, uh, you, you, you're talking about dreams. Uh, it's getting very fuzzy. You have, 30, you, you, you know, if within the first four or five words, you don't get their attention, even if they're listening to you, not paying attention. Right. So you, you have to start with something that immediately connects with them. You, every single day you're going away years from your dream. Who are you talking about? I have no idea. Right. So I don't know if you're talking to me. I, you know, maybe I'm on my, okay. yeah. How do I know you're talking about comedy people who want are interested in comedy? Right. So, so if, yeah. if you say that, uh, I, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, are you, are you, are you, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, do you, are you, uh, you know, funny, but the only people who, uh, you know, are laughing are your friends, you know, something hmm. like that, right? Okay. That, gets, that gets them to say, ha, yaar, to kuch hai kya? Aisa. Huh. Yeah, something like that. You'll have to think a little bit about this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, comedy stardom yes <laughs> okay so um cool uh, we are at uh, 8 40 um i will uh, now just quickly uh, uh you know conclude uh here and then i can open it up to any question and answers you might have uh, okay so when you tell your story okay uh it resonates with another uh, i honestly haven't got into the entire uh you know into the entire how uh, but story makes an impact at a physical level, uh, if the moment, uh, you know, I tell you, uh, you know, four years back when I was here, you know, whatever you're doing, you'll immediately, uh, you know, uh, turn your attention, right? Uh, so physically stories can make you cry, can make you laugh. So they have a physical impact, right? Uh, stories can impact you mentally, of course. Uh, and, uh, you know, there is science behind this. Uh, there is neural coupling. Uh, there, you know, and, and it's technical. So I'm not really getting into it, mirroring and, you know, dopamine and all of that. So, you know, it's, it, it's proven science that stories, you know, affect you uh, mentally, uh, emotionally, of course, uh, you know, there, there's no doubt about it that, a, you know, a, a good storyteller can make you cry, laugh, howl. Um, and of course, uh, you know, it, it, stories have the power to inspire, right? So, uh, you know, in that sense, also spiritually. Uh, so, the, my point being that uh, you know stories, uh, you know when when it when your story resonates with another person. Sorry. Okay. Uh, when when uh, you know uh, when you tell your story and it resonates uh, with someone else, you know a connection is made, right? Uh, you want the previous slide, Noshin? Okay. Uh, enough connections grow will grow into a tribe, into a community, maybe even a move, movement, and you know, and that is power. So this is a quote by uh, you know Justin, who says that uh, you know uh, if if enough uh, stories are told and enough resonation happens, a community bu is built, you know, and probably a movement can start. Now that movement might be uh, you know like a, you know a, for your own brand, like uh, you know how. Uh, you know, people are crazy after say an apple. So if you, if you look at it, you know, there is a cult of, um, you know, an apple uh, or, you know, a bike for instance, or, you know, uh, movie stars or, you know, we're all, we, we, we build stories around them. Okay. Uh, so storytelling in business has been a buzz for many, 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 many years, right? Possibly since this time humans started selling, uh, you know, storytelling has existed. Uh, yeah, you know, if, if you say that, oh, you know, uh, two years back, I was with this client and we were at the uh, warehouse and this happened and then happened and that happened. And then we realized this and you know what, I think we are having the same problem. That is, you know, an experience that you're sharing. Uh, you can make it, you can craft it into a story. The only difference between a narrative and experience sharing and a story is that one, uh, you know, there is some sort of a conflict there is some sort of a problem there is something that is stopping you from being able to achieve what you want to and because of that there is tension there is conflict and without tension you know you will not get attention from your audience if there is tension you will get attention okay so your story needs to have some sort of tension some sort of obstacle some sort of conflict that stops the protagonist from moving forward and that gets your attention saying kya chal raha why is this? What is the trouble? Am I in trouble? The brain starts to automatically pay attention because the moment there is some trouble, something is happening, your brain starts to say danger, you know, check it out. I, I hope you are not in trouble. And that automatically gets your attention to a story. So, 
that is why it's so important that you know whatever you're trying to use you storify it i'm not saying use stories uh, left right and center you know machine gun them you have to be very careful very judicious if you you know are, are not careful with the way you craft your stories you could uh, you know end up with trouble because uh, people get emotional with stories and in a, a wrong story put in up put up in the wrong way is actually going to get you into a lot of trouble right uh, so you know it's not it, it is it is powerful and like uh, spider man says with great powers come great responsibilities stories should be used carefully yeah uh, and if you want to learn how to tell stories there are masters uh, in learners conclave who can teach you how to modulate etc all of them i'm i focus more on the crafting part of it okay so uh, in order to create or repurpose a story that resonates one needs to be authentic okay you cannot just bullshit any story that you use you have to know that you know either it is the complete truth or the message in it is the it may be a fable but the truth you, the message in it is universal you have to believe in it if you do not believe in it if you do not agree with it and you use it it will not work because it will not be authentic okay and last no one cares about your business goals right but everyone likes a good story right so crafting good stories is our birthright now uh, uh, i will open this up to question answers i just wanted to tell you all that uh, you know i've been getting uh, messages on the group and in whatsapp that people are looking for uh, some you know uh, one on one and uh, more uh, uh, inputs so i am uh, you know planning a workshop uh, on story crafting and elevator pitch from the 25th or so onwards uh, uh, and uh, also an elevator pitch only uh, week you know both will be weekend batches uh, there'll be some special offerings for learners conclave so i'm going to talk to asif and uh, elroy and get back to you all but if you are interested uh, my number you know i'm putting in the number just message me uh, that you are interested and i will uh, share the details with you uh you know after speaking to the learner con learners conclave team all right and uh, the recording will be shared by uh, you know by the learners conclave team to y'all uh, on the group uh, so you'll have to get in touch with them because it uh, this is uh, you know from their end so i do not have the recording so i'm i'm going to uh, you know uh, invite uh, you all if any of you would like to ask something there is something you'd like to share in terms of what you are taking away uh, my my uh, swarth if you might say so is in knowing that you know some of you are going to actually apply this and it's not just been uh, uh, you know a, 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 a just some con conversation but it's actually something that's going to make a difference to you you're going to apply it and it's going to make a difference to you that is something i really would like to know what are you getting taking away from here and what are you how are you going to Light. If any of you would love like to share, it really will make me feel, uh, you know, that that session was, was worth it. So please feel free. Uh, the stage is yours. Uh, we have about ten more minutes. You can unmute yourself and talk. Uh, hi, Sorin. This is uh, Avi. Yes. So I would like to uh, share, uh, you know, my input, my intake uh, based on this session. Mm -hmm. So I think. the session is really helpful in terms of uh, you know knowing this as a concept especially the elevator pitch the various mm -hmm. steps which you you know introduce us to mm -hmm. uh, so you know as part of my job we are uh, supposed to you know share the success stories which we have done along with our clients mm -hmm. and publish it at an organization level to let the you know uh, world know as to how was the situation what did we do what mm -hmm. all implementations we did and the client commendations as well So mm -hmm. I think uh, that's an area where I can definitely implement it. Of course, as you said, while we work on the draft, uh, there are a lot of uh, you know revisions which uh, one uh, you know has to undergo any any case study for that matter. But I think this uh, PP as a concept is really really helpful. Fantastic! I'm so glad. Thank you so much. Sorry. My pleasure. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Um, anyone else? Uh, any? What are you taking away? What are you? Where are you looking to apply? And uh, as I mentioned, uh, yeah, I will be, uh, you know, sharing further details. So anyone who's interested, uh, just share your number uh, on my WhatsApp, and I will, uh, you know, the Learners Conclave will or I will get in touch with you with further details on the workshop. It will happen a week or ten days later. It will be a weekend kind of a session on Zoom. Uh, obviously, there's not, maybe not catching up, so you can be anywhere. 
uh, and it'll be a couple of weeks. I'll share all the details. Uh, you know, it's just work in progress right now. Okay. Yes. Uh, someone wanted to. Uh, Noshin. Yes, sir. So my name is Ram. Uh, I'm sorry. I did not get that. Name. Ram. 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 Yes, Ram. Go ahead. So earlier, I used to go for a TNA analysis and to meet a HR or any LND personnel with an open mind. Mm -hmm. There was nothing structured and things like that. I would allow the things to go in its own way. Mm -hmm. And uh, probably, you know, if it clicks, it's clicking and probably we're able to you know, match the wavelength. I got more orders because of the wavelength match and probably things clicked. Absolutely. But uh, now I think the elevator pitch, what you're given, the five points, I think it makes mm -hmm. a lot of sense for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would definitely make a note of it and uh, probably I would go about it. More awesome. structured probably the next time when I go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Very good, sir. Actually, very, very kind of. My pleasure, my pleasure, and 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 uh, th that is what it is. Anything that you are presenting as a story, as an experience, if you can storyify it and if you can craft it, I can guarantee you it will be uh, at least 15, 20 percent, 25 percent more effective because you'll be aware of the impact it can make. Uh, you'll be aware of the audience and you'll be able to repurpose it. If you put it onto paper, I can promise you it even just putting act of putting it onto paper will make it better. Sure, sure. Very nice of you. Sir. Yeah? Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yes. So um, we have a few minutes. Uh, if anyone has any questions uh, uh, about every, anything that was covered, as I mentioned, the recording will be uh, shared, uh, you know, uh, by Elroy uh, in a while. Um, sorry, I had something to say. Can Please, I? Please, go ahead. Uh, yeah. So uh, as a trainer, I, uh, a very important part of uh, getting the content across to participants is storytelling. Yes. But um, and, and I have been using it, of course, for a very long time. Yes. Um, but I think today's session was really, really useful in the sense that it actually gave me a structure to follow in order to create a story. Because, you know, sometimes, uh, especially the hero's journey, this is something I had studied in literature so many, yes. many years yes. ago. Yes. And I had completely forgotten about it till you mentioned it. And I was like, oh, my God, somebody oh my else God, knows yeah. <laughs> Joseph Campbell and, you know, has that entire thing just like popped up into my head. Absolutely. And I realized that, um, you know, the, I, I think the uh, highlight of this particular session was um, where you talked about how we as a brand can step in to become the mentor. And yes. I was actually thinking of, yes. you know, we as a brand becoming maybe an Alvis Dumbledore or whatever, yes. you know, just yes. to actually yes. get there yes. and get people to realize that there's so much, much potential that they have. And yes. that we can help them to unleash it. Absolutely. So thank Absolutely. you so much. My, my uh, pleasure. Sorry. My pleasure. In uh, fact, in fact, the elephant squirrel story. The reason I use a squirrel and not some other animal is is just to sometimes you know. And I tried this to tell the other person that you know I may need not have the physical strength that you do in order for me to be able to uh, not physical in the physical sense or whatever strength it is. I mm -hmm. do not need not have that strength for me to be able to help you realize your strength as a right. mentor. Right. right. So, you know, someone might say, oh, but you're not this. So how can you, you know, share with me? And, and this story says, I, you, I don't need to be the best in your space in order for me to help you become better at, at who you are in your space. Exactly. Just like a coach, you know, I mean, yes. coaching and, a sports and, and person. that's why I use a squirrel uh, instead of say using a lion or some other elephant, you know, to say mm -hmm. even a squirrel could make a difference, you know, if the squirrel knows exactly that one thing and, you know, and that's what I'm putting myself in, I'm saying, I may be the squirrel compared to the uh, strength that you have in your space, but I can mm -hmm. see something you cannot, is what I'm trying to do. Right, right. Yeah. Anyway, this was brilliant. A um, lot of, Thank lot of know. concepts refreshed. And I think uh, I'm all no. charged up now to actually awesome, awesome. start writer, using I, I, I write fiction. I write uh, short stories. I write scripts. So for me, uh -huh. you know, just the, the, the hero's journey is part of my everyday, uh, you know, working and therefore it was easier for me to put everything together research it because i use those uh, you know concepts anyways right so it was slightly easier for me simply because i straddle both the worlds of fiction and uh, business content mm -hmm. yeah. Great. So anyway loved uh, lovely to have you on uh, in here and uh, you know i'm looking forward to having more interactions you Same have a wonderful way. evening thank you thank you so much all right Hello. Yes. Yeah. Hi, uh, Tulsi Priya here. Yeah. Tulsi. So uh, it was such a wonderful uh, one. So yeah, my takeaway from this session is I was just really wondering what is story crafting because I don't Google. I just wanted to come with open mind and <laughs> awesome. learn. Good. So I know I've 
heard about storytelling and i have been doing that also part of my i am a freelancer mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. my take away today is uh, in this about us so yeah i do have a website and i express about my company and myself so it is to my understanding so i never mm-hmm. thought that the other person need to understand with this action so that you know they know that i can help them out i'll be the right mm-hmm. person mm-hmm. so that is mm-hmm. one thing mm-hmm. and this elevator pitch is uh, really awesome because uh, in that there's a lot of question to myself on how, what is the flow of it so that is really grabbing the attention of the person so it is not about you know telling my short resume to a person i meet up yes. for 30 seconds yeah. so it has a structure and uh, you know it it comes with a uh, close note so that people will understand and come back yes. Yes. so That's i'm awesome. i am very very confident that i can use this uh, uh, in my freelancing not only in my professional life i think personal life also i've made up something in my mind so that this <laughs> will work so stories around as always absolutely Love so me. i i uh, thank you so much for you and uh, yeah learners conclave and for definitely i think every day we need to thank this lockdown so that we get to meet a lot of guys <laughs> like this <laughs> thank you absolutely. elroy all right thank you so much thank you thank you all right uh, so um uh, we're almost uh, wrapped up for the day uh, if there's anything uh, you, anyone needs to ask uh, you know i have a minute or two so uh, so sorin some questions that were there in the chat box okay please okay, i where, just understand uh, yeah. we have asked for any books that uh, they could refer to improve their story crafting skills absolutely so i mentioned one book uh, you know i mentioned indranil's uh, book uh, stories at work so indranil is someone who uh, you know i uh, you know uh, uh, you know look up to i you know he's he's some he and the fact that he is uh, you know uh, really created a name for himself in this space is amazing uh, shireen uh, you know you should uh, you know uh, so while while uh, this you know i am as i mentioned this is not storytelling there's a lot of things in storytelling books that uh you know will work here as well and uh, so anyone who's interested can join in uh, you know our groups including uh, you know the uh, storytelling group uh, you know shirin has always been suggesting uh, uh, two three books uh, one of them being leaders guide to storytelling by stephen denning uh, and uh, uh, you know lead with a story a uh, tons of books uh, you know i can uh, you know whatever she shared uh, honestly you know is good enough uh but uh, for if for most people uh, indran leel's book uh, should be a good start uh, stories at work all right yeah uh yeah uh, stories sorry, at work sorry i have a question yeah go ahead yeah uh, so sorry i deal with uh, in, i mean my me and my team we deal a lot with uh, internal customers and we are moving into uh, new spaces from you know purely being an lnd uh, uh you know organizing trainings etc we are moving into more offering uh, internal consulting etc mm-hmm. so my challenge is that uh, people know us people have dealt with us so they already have an opinion how can we use storytelling to uh, Uh, you know, actually break that opinion or break that uh, this thing idea they have of us, especially since this is something we have not done before. Okay, okay. I, I, um, this is uh, Anush. Uh, this is Sairam. Yeah, Anush. Sairam, right? Hmm? Uh, I'm talking to Sairam, right? There were two people's uh, voice and. Okay, no, no. Yeah, uh, Anush. 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 Okay, hold on. uh okay everyone else uh, has too much noise in the background uh, uh it would be nice if uh, all I'm, could mute their mics <laughs> yeah uh, okay so uh uh elroy if you could uh, unmute uh, anush i have not mute all yet No, ah, no. Okay. I, I I muted myself. Okay, okay, to, okay, 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 okay. So, um, so Anush, I I I on uh, honestly, I'll need a little more context here. But uh, you know, just to just to uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, try and sort of quickly give you some uh, t- uh, ideas. So, one of the things that uh, uh, you know is really important is first to have uh, you know internal clarity. on uh, on you know what is the uh, you know problem uh, that w- you're trying to solve what is that insight 
you know what actions have you been taking and what is the vision if if internally you know you need to ensure that everyone you know is talking the same language mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so that 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 you know ha- having that internal uh, you know uh, uh, you know congruence internal sort of uh, match where everyone understands exactly you know so what happens is it's that you know uh, and i'm not saying it's happening with your organization as i mentioned i'll need to actually have a conversation before i understand exactly what is the challenge okay But what okay. normally happens with uh, you know once an organization is in uh, sorry organization becomes of a certain size uh, people tend to only especially people who come in later tend to only know bits and pieces of how things happened and how things are right. around, because it's not practical to sit and sort of tell everyone everything that you know happened you know but Uh, the yeah. challenge then becomes that you sort of start to think ki okay this is what i do and you know like that uh, bricklayer and cathedral example you know most mm-hmm. a lot of people think that okay i'm just putting up a wall or i'm just laying bricks right mm-hmm. and uh, uh, now if that's not happening awesome most companies that is a problem uh, so if if uh, the the one of the things is to basically uh, you know have that thing of why we started uh, you know what was the problem uh, that we are uh, we found what's the insight that got us uh, you know to solve the problem what's the action we've been taking what is it that we are doing now and where are we headed once that happens it you know that you know it sort of build instills a sense of pride in everyone because now everyone can see that this is not just you know some company providing some service there's something much bigger at play yeah so the context just to give it i mean you know maybe 30 sure. seconds or less sure uh, normally i mean i work for a conglomerate and in the head office so our uh, divisions they typically go to uh, they would probably go to an external uh, consultant for certain uh, od work or any other work sure and our idea what we are trying to pitch to them is that we will do it for you we have the expertise we have the people and we can do it for you oh but okay. uh, hitherto in the last uh, 80 years of our existence or you know the 30 years of the hrd department we have always just been an organizer of training programs you have a need you want certain people to be trained we will get you a trainer okay okay but but you, you have internal have... Capab- you have internal capabilities but that's not being exploited uh yes okay yes. okay because okay. there is a certain opinion in the minds of our uh, customers yes i okay so so the 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 uh, the you know the the only way as in i'm 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 sure there are many other ways to look at it but i think considering uh, you know uh, uh, this the only way it will really work well is through uh, uh, you know uh, changing the the story uh, you'll have to uh, in, and i'll need a uh, you know we we'll probably take an offline call and you know i, I you know uh, we'll we can talk about this but uh, there we have to change the narrative uh and uh, you know once that is done automatically thing will change but that that it, it's it's it, it's like that elephant thing that you know it uh, in nahi hoga so that's it i don't even want to hear about it you know uh exactly so, i mean i'm not working on a blank canvas that's my challenge no i get that and 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 it's and, and the idea of uh, using stories is to you know not you know is you know much more powerful when it's not a blank blank canvas and uh, you know uh, they say that if you want to change the culture you change the stories change the narrative okay right? so we what 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 we could do is uh, uh, you have my number just message me we'll have I a we, we have a quick call uh, maybe tomorrow uh, you know first thing or you know during the day uh, and let me just no, whenever it works because i don't want to you know have this uh, conversation right now or, or, or over this and uh, i need a few more things to understand how best uh, this could be solved but yeah uh, it, this is solvable thank you so much okay. thank you so much my pleasure so we'll connect uh, tomorrow or uh, you know weekend and we we'll definitely whenever it works for you awesome awesome works. done you have a wonderful evening and uh, uh, i if uh, we're done uh, or is there anything else uh, elroy uh, anyone any other questions i missed out elroy so uh, no questions of course uh, one or two questions which were uh, repeat i think so of the piav model and all that ha huh. so i guess with the recording once that's shared people uh, that will get solved and yeah, it will get solved anyone has a query they can you know pass it to you or send it to me but i think the recording will have everything because it has the people so thank you very much soren for this wonderful session um, and elroy uh, uh, yes. no shin here just yes, a moment no, please yes uh, no elroy when uh, what group would you be sharing the recording on uh, so uh, one is uh, what you could do is if you could connect with me on uh, the mobile number that is mentioned 
and uh-huh. because i don't know in which groups you are so i keep right, right. different groups so maybe at least once uh-huh. you connect with me on the number provided then i can uh-huh. then tell you in which group uh, i've been posting sure i'll do that all right and otherwise yeah. i could add you to the broadcast group also wherein mm-hmm. you could also be getting direct messages so uh, that's the reason. i'll i'll give you that option i'll sure, just sure. talk so my it. number is mentioned out there 8169587632 i've got it yeah all right Thanks. so yeah. thank you very much in case you'll have any queries or something that you would like to ask maybe you can of course sorens numbers mentioned on the screen if not you could also connect with me or maybe send me an email you could also send us your feedback as to how the learning hour has been helpful to you so uh, tomorrow session is going to be by miss sunita kedia and she's going to be talking about uh, the secrets of uh, happiness so for all those who'd like uh, get uh, some tips and techniques on how to be happy well tomorrow is the session that you ought to attend 7:30 pm as usual all right so thank you very much once again uh we shall uh, now end the meeting so thank you and thank good you. night thank you thank you so much thank you thank you, thank you.